payoff, they were taking a look at this massive NAA mini revolver. Let's get into it. <laughs> Now, if you like this content, like, sub, shares, all that good stuff, I really appreciate it. Also down below, coupon codes and merch to help support the channel. I'm going to get out of the way first and say it. It's kind of cute. Like I, you know, I'm macho man, whatever. This is kind of cute. So we're looking at the North American Arms Mini Revolver. Sometimes we say mini, sometimes we don't. I'm calling it the Mini Revolver because I'm mini. What is this? So this is a 22 long rifle version. They do 22 mag, 22 long rifle. The 22 long rifle are smaller. In fact, for me, too small. And I'll get into that later. Uh, but basically, this is an all metal gun. It's a stainless steel little revolver. Five shot, 22 long rifle. Uh, no safety of any kind, except for a little safety notches on the cylinder. To load it, right, you pop out this pin here, which there's a little button on the front. Pop out that pin, drop it on the floor. Pick it up from the floor, and then what you do is you lift up on the hammer just a little bit, and the cylinder rolls out. And you load your five 22 long rifles in, and then you once again lift a little bit back on the hammer and slide your cylinder back in, and then pop your pin in, right? And finagle, come on. 2,000 years later. Okay, and there you go. That is actually kind of something I should emphasize as far as the loading of this thing. Um, which, by the way, to unload it, you would take the cylinder out and then use this pin again. Pop out the cartridges. Um, loading on this can be kind of finicky, right? You can have to finagle. You can finicky. Now, as you practice it more, you get better. But that's, you know, something to keep in mind. This is your trigger right here. So what you would do to fire, once it's loaded, cock the hammer, pull this, and goes bang, right? Um, sights on this are very small, right? So I'm going to cock the hammer because that's how you can see the sight. So you have a front blade in here, and then on the back, you kind of have like this little raised section. You kind of line that up, and that's your sight. Very minimal, and again, with big hands creates an issue, and I'll get into that. So that's pretty much it. That's how it operates. Um, very simple to use. This has little uh, synthetic stag grips. They normally come with rosewood. Reliability, it's gone bang every time. It's very well built. I will say the lockup on this is some of the best I've ever seen. Very little movement. So quality on these, really good. Is this a useful item? So here's the thing. Sometimes people see these as range toys, other people, they uh, they see this as a self-defense weapon. Is this a self-defense tool? Yes. Is this a good self-defense weapon? I mean, the person that's defended themselves from the mugger with one of these will say yes. I'm going to say no. The reason I'm going to say no is this is an expert's gun. Some people will reference a 38 Special as being an expert's gun, a little snub nose 38s. Um, this makes this, this makes that, look like basically a full-size 10-inch barrel target 22 as far as being able to shoot it accurately and manipulate it. These are, um, well, they're tough to manipulate. For me, it's actually too small. So this is my wife's gun, in case I haven't already mentioned. Um, and for me, it's too small. I have big hands, and for me to hold on to it, basically, I get like, I get like a finger and a half, right? And then I hold it like this. And then I can cock the hammer like so, and then I can fire it. But here's the thing. So with my larger hands, one, I normally hold, you know, pull the trigger middle, you know, middle finger like so. And right, I usually don't have enough leverage at that angle to pull the trigger. The trigger's not necessarily that heavy. It's just, you know, I can't get the pressure needed. So I ended up pulling the trigger with the tip of my finger like so. The other thing is, when I hold the gun, which I don't know how well you can see here, but that's me holding the gun. You can see how much of the sights I can see. Not much. Um, so for me, if you have large hands, these little things, honestly, you're not going to have a lot of fun with it. Um, neat little thing to blast the range, but, you know, you're not going to be able to see the sights, and it's actually kind of awkward to shoot. They do make bigger grips. The 22 Magnum versions are bigger altogether. 
Um, they're a little bit better. You can I've held some of them, and I can get a better grip on it, and I can get a better sight picture. But back to is this a self-defense tool? Yes, it is. In certain situations, if this is all you can carry. Now, I've done videos talking about carrying at work and, you know, once against company policy, you know, kind of making a choice between having that last-ditched effort of self-defense if it ever happens that you need it or, you know, definitely not ever getting fired. And so if, you know, you're working someplace where this is the only thing you can carry, this is better than nothing. Some people, maybe, for instance, they, uh, you know, with the better grips, maybe they can only handle 22 long rifle. Uh, recoil. They have issues with that. This ain't bad. Now, I will say this a little bit snappier than what you would expect. It is by no means snappy, but especially when I can't get much of a grip, it does move around in your hand a little bit when fired. Now, definitely something to keep in mind is, you know, if you have really bad hands, you're going to have to hold on to this, you know, enough that the gun doesn't, you know, fly out of your hand when it fires. So, self-defense tool? Yes. Last-ditched effort? Yes. Backup gun? Yes. Primary, you know, like an everyday carry, like you, you know, you have a permit or wherever you are, you can legally carry and, you know, you can pretty much carry anything else. I would not carry this because there's much, 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 much better options out there than this. But I don't consider them just a novelty because at the end of the day, this is like a get off me gun. You know, if, if you've got someone attacking you, you've got someone, you know, coming at you with a knife and this is all you've got, this might just save your life. So, neat little gun. Accuracy of these guns. So, obviously all guns are pretty much inherently accurate as long as, you know, they're not junk, right? You know, it's a rifle barrel. If you were to put this in a vise and fire it, you know, where the gun doesn't move, you'd probably get a decent group. And in fact, there are people when they practice a ton with this gun, they get very accurate with it. Um, I have not had the best of luck with accuracy. Mainly because, again, how I'm holding it, you know, I, I kind of cover up the sights and I have to pull the trigger a little bit awkwardly. But I've seen people do really well with it. So the gun, it, 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 again, going back to that, you know, it being an expert's gun, this is something that, you know, if it's at a foot, it's not going to matter. You're going to be able to hit your target. Uh, past a few feet, probably not the best of luck. And past a few yards, you know, again, your mileage may vary depending upon how much you practice and how well you're able to manipulate it. But past a few feet, I really don't see this being that much use. So not a novelty in the sense that it will work as self-defense. It's a good, you know, deep cover concealment. Absolutely, you know, I got to walk into the boardroom meeting every day in, you know, slacks and I can't you know, I can't have a gun printing in my pocket, this will work. Cool little gun. Again, you know, this is my wife's. She likes it. It's fun to take to the range and shoot. Neat little gun. Very well built. Good quality. They have a bunch of different options. Uh, you know, I was looking at some of their other ones, the 22 Magnums and some of the other stuff. They got some cool little guns. So North American Arms, uh, let me know what you think. Do you think it's a cool gun? Do you carry one? Do you shoot one? Is it fun at the range? You know, it, let me know if you got big hands, if you notice that there's a better way to hold it to where you can get more of a sight picture. Because for me, honestly, when I try and hold it low enough to see the sights, I end up like I'm holding on to like the last like half inch of the gun. So let me know down below what you think and have a good day. <music>